Hey guys, please like and subscribe. We're checking out Wampum here. Crazy AI art generator. That's free just to use on the internet. I'm gonna use a random word generator and we're gonna plug this in Wampo. And let's check out our first creation. So this is a steampunk style. And it does take a little bit of time to create these random art generators but when they turn out they, some of them turn out pretty cool let's see how this one goes I sped up the rest of the process for y'all later on let's check this one out that one's pretty cool very much steampunk style for sure So I used to use that random word generator. Let's see another one in that style. That one's pretty neat, I like that one. Kind of interesting, kind of looks like a, like a head there. That could be, I don't know. So this is Monster Mash. We're gonna take this image and we're gonna make it 3D. Check it out in 3D, see what it looks like. And it's really simple. You just draw a, a line around the figure, around the outline, and it pops it out into 3D. So <laughs> that came out pretty cool. Kinda looks like a gonzo there or something. That nose. Let me try to retrace this real quick just do the head portion okay and then you just press inflate when you're done when you're ready I'm actually gonna try to make the eye pop out a little bit more so you can kind of see him on the sides there definitely looks like gonzo though that's funny but yeah this is kind of a cool program you can use on the internet monster mash let's go back to the random word generator let's see what we got here and we're going to use the baroque style this time it looks like a bunch of flowers i guess kind of cool weird that one's kind of cool really spacey let's see what else we got let's use the dark fantasy whoa that one looks kind of crazy <laughs> Kind of like some insects fighting or something. I don't really know. It's pretty cool though. Let's check out the next style. Whoa. Yeah, definitely on some insect theme here. Looks like Attack of the Bees. So let's go make another word here. Ah. Interesting, okay. Random word generator, making some random AI art. See what we come up with. Whoa, okay, that's really weird. <laughs> This one coming out, yikes. Holy crap. Looks like the pits of hell, that one. Let's do the steampunk style again. Okay. All right. I have no idea. Uh, this one is soggy electric. The funny word that came up. That is interesting. Okay. Yeah. So it's really just completely random, guys. That's what it seems like here. 
just goes off of what you're putting in the words here. Soggy electric. I would definitely say that soggy and electric. Okay. That one's super sad looking. Alright, let's see if we can go for the mystical style. See what that comes up like. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Uh. Alright. I don't even know what to say about that one. So now I just added the word human after that, just to see what would pop up. And, of course, we got some construction worker looking guy in, in the sewers, maybe? I don't know. That's very abstract. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I put in the psychic style. Still soggy human. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it's interesting there. Definitely got some human form, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Sticking with the new theme. This is Festival. That was very horrendous. Let's go with Dark Fantasy. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, this is something that I would see in my nightmares for sure. <laughs> I don't know why a soggy human would look like that, but I guess they would. Oh, uh, sorry, I added the word face to the end of the thing here. Oh, God. Oh, uh, why? Why does it look like his eye has been punctured? Okay, so now I added the word sad. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty sad there. That's in the Dali style. And let's see what it comes up with happy with the same style. Oh my God. I'm gonna freaking barf. God, that's horrible. Oh. Ah. Jeez. Cannot believe I just saw that with my own freaking eyes. Okay, so let's bring this into Monster Mash and see what we can get out of it. I'm just going to kind of make it like his face there. Oh, God, it's even worse. Oh, it looks... So realistic. Make those jiggly little phalanges coming off. Ugh. Okay, enough of this crap. That was probably the worst one yet. We're gonna do the same thing with Happy. Yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of like this one. It's interesting. See kind of like the bottom portion of his head there, his lips, and uh, I guess you could call those lips. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm indifferent about this one. It's definitely not as bad as the last one we saw. That was horrible, but uh, interesting nonetheless. So okay. Get a new word going here and good with the soggy electric makeshift overconfident yeah why not and so for this one let's go for the etching style and we got a dress that's definitely some clothing right there let's see what else we got Oh, okay. Nice little cityscape. That was interesting. So let's just add the word human to the end of this. Human face. See what it comes up with. This is the fantasy art style. This is about how long it really takes for it to render out. I had the other one sped up. And, oh god, that is 
horrifying. Ugh, what in the hell? Okay, no more of that. Let's go to the Dali. And, oh my god, why? Why does it look like that? That is, ugh. Maybe Stingpunk will be a little better. Eh, uh, not really. I don't know, it's interesting, I guess. You could kind of call that a face. Let's see here Sith Wave. And yeah, very futuristic. So I just typed in real human face here just to see what it would come up with. And yeah, that's horrifying. So you can see there's kind of a theme here of it having multiple eyes and multiple mouths. It can't seem to just put one eye together. Oh God, what is wrong with this thing? Ugh, it's like something out of a tool video. Okay. Alright, this is... Oh, what happened? It's like the guy from Star Wars. Okay. So I still have him real human face. These are not even close at all. <laughs> to a real human face. All right, now I put in perfect robot. Let's see what it thinks about itself as a perfect robot. Interesting. I can guess I could see a robot resemblance there. Let's see the new one in the Dali style. Yeah, yeah, I could go for that. I, I, I could see Dali painting a robot like that. Interesting. Uh, steampunk. Oh, yeah. You know, this one's gonna be interesting. And uh, maybe not. Lobby. So, this is what the perfect robot looks like. Interesting. I like that one. It's, it's like, it seems like it would be a, a robot at some point in the future. Who knows? But yeah, guys, this is Womp Wompo, the random AI art generator, and you can just download any one that you generate and use it to however you like. You could even take it into Adobe Illustrator and illustrate it, move it around, uh, change things around if you want, take multiple ones, make collages. There's all kinds of stuff you could do with this. It's just a really fast way to come up with an image, even though a lot of these images are pretty horrific. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So on these last couple ones, I put in perfect robot human face, and yeah, this this is totally what makes sense. <laughs> so perfect robot human face getting all kinds of weird images so yeah guys just go out and check this out for free you can look it up on Google and you can even do it on your iPhone pretty cool stuff and eventually they're gonna have an NFT that you can download so that will be pretty badass thanks for watching guys have a good night